In the dusty archives of Siberia, a whisper of madness echoes Tunguska event of 1908. What if an entire forest could vanish in seconds? On June 30th, reindeer herders watched the sky split open. A blinding flash brighter than the sun erupted over the Siberian wilderness. Trees snapped like matchsticks, falling in perfect radial patterns. No crater, no impact, just devastation. Ivan Petrov, a local hunter, stood frozen as 80 million trees collapsed in an instant. The explosion flattened 830 square miles, an area larger than New York City. Witnesses described a fireball consuming the horizon, so intense it could be seen 400 miles away. Scientists would debate for decades at a meteor, an alien spacecraft, a miniature nuclear explosion. Some theorized a massive antimatter collision. Others suggested a quantum event beyond human comprehension. The Russian government initially ignored the incident. No expedition reached the remote location until 1927, when botanist Leonid Kulik finally investigated. He found millions of scorched, toppled trees, all pointing away from a central point, as if something had detonated midair. Local indigenous tribes believed supernatural forces had punished the land. Shamans performed rituals, believing an angry spirit had unleashed unprecedented destruction. Modern research suggests a massive asteroid or comet fragment exploded approximately three to six miles above the Earth's surface. The blast's energy equaled 15 megatons of TNT, 1,000 times more powerful than the Hiroshima atomic bomb. To this day, the Tunguska event remains the largest impact event in recorded history. A moment when the universe reminded humanity how little we truly understand, how fragile our existence can be when confronted with forces beyond our imagination.